In this video, we'll set up a fully automated Git-based static website, such that any changes made on the repo will instantly be reflected on the website. To do that, we'll use Caddy, which is a modern web server focused on simplicity and security. I'll get started by creating a new droplet. In my control panel, I'll click on Create, and then Droplets. We'll go with Ubuntu 18.04, the $5 plan is fine. I'll select Frankfurt because it's closest to me, and I have my SSH key selected here. Now I just need to name my droplet, so I'll go with sammy.cloud. Click on Create. So now the droplet is ready. I'll copy the IP address, and as you can see, I've already added my domain name to my account. So I'll go into it and point it to the new droplet. I'll add a new A record, and for the host name, I'll go with the at sign, which signifies the root of the domain. Here I will select my droplet and click create. Cool, so now the domain sam.cloud points to my new droplet. Now I can SSH into my droplet. So I'll log in as root, accept the new SSH key, and I should be in. Awesome. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new user so that we don't use root for everything. So I'll type in add user, and for the username, I will use Sammy. I'll need to enter a password. These fields can be empty, and now it's created. Another thing I need to do is add the new user to the sudo group in order to give it sudo access. I can do that with the user mod command, dash ag, which adds the group sudo to Sammy's existing groups. And in order to be able to SSH using this user, I need to copy my SSH public key to its authorized keys file. I already have this configured for root, so if I look in the SSH directory, I can see the authorized keys file, which contains my public key. So I can just copy the whole directory to Sammy's home directory. And then I will need to change the ownership from root to Sammy. So I can do that using the chown command. And now if I look at the directory, I can see that everything is owned by Sammy with the correct permissions. So now if I log out, I should be able to SSH in as Sammy. Great. Let's check if I have sudo access. And it works. Let's now install Caddy. On caddyserver.com, click on download. Our platform is Linux 64 bit, and for the plugins, we'll add the Git plugin. We can keep telemetry off and choose the personal plan. So now we have a direct link to download here. So we'll copy that. In our droplet, we'll go to a temporary directory. So we'll create one called caddy, and we can download the caddy file to it. So I'm using wget to download the URL I'm passing and save it to a file called caddy.tgz. Now I can extract it. And you can see that we have all these files here. So the caddy file is the caddy binary. And we also have the init directory, which contains configurations for different init systems. First, we'll install the caddy binary. So we'll copy it to user local bin. And actually, we need to use sudo here. We'll update the permissions. Because caddy won't run as root, it won't have access to ports 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS. But we can give it access to those ports using the setcap command. And I'll pass it the path to the binary. Now we need to create the directory that will hold the configuration files for Caddy. So we'll start by creating it, change ownership. 
Then we also have the directory that will hold the SSL certificates for Caddy. We'll create that and also change ownership, but now to root with the group www.data. Also need to update the permissions. And we're done. Now we need to install the service file for systemd. This already exists in the package that we downloaded. So we can go ahead and copy it. To update the permissions. Need to reload systemd so that it notices the new file. And we'll also enable it so that it starts on boot. Great. Let's go ahead and configure caddy now. We'll create the config file. And I'll enter my domain here. For Let's Encrypt integration, I need to give it my email address. TLS and my email address. For now, we'll set the root to var www. Save it. We can start caddy now. If we look at the status, you can see it already requesting the certificate from Let's Encrypt. If I now go to my browser and browse to sami.cloud, I get a 404 not found because I don't have anything in the var www directory, but we already have an SSL certificate. And if we look at it, it says issued by Let's Encrypt Authority. That's awesome. So now we can configure our site. I have a really simple website here that's just a static page, and I have it here on GitHub. So I'll copy its URL, and I can go back into Caddy's config file, and instead of pointing the document root to a directory that's on our file system, we'll use the git plugin. So I'll type in git and then pass it the URL to the git repo. I'll also use the internal directive to prevent the .git directory from being served. Now I can save the file and reload Caddy. Go back, refresh. There you go. This is my website, which Caddy fetched automatically with just one line of config. By default, Caddy pulls the repo every hour. So if I make a change now, it might take up to an hour for it to take effect. You can also change the interval to have it pull up to every five seconds. What's even cooler is that we can achieve near instant updates by using webhooks. So if I go to the settings page of my repo, there's a tab here called webhooks. If I add a webhook here, it allows me to automatically know when a certain event has happened, for example, when a commit was pushed to the repo. Using that, every time a commit is made, GitHub can instantly let Caddy know that change was made, and so Caddy will automatically pull the new changes and have them ready in just a few seconds. So I'll go into my Caddy config file. I'll configure a hook at the path slash GitHub hook, and I'll paste in a secret here. This is a random string that I generated and it will have to be provided in order to access the hook. I'll save it and reload. Now I can add the webhook here. The content type needs to be application JSON. Paste the secret here, and we'll keep SSL verification enabled. Just the push event is fine, and we can add it. Automatically, GitHub will send a test payload just to make sure everything works. And you can see the check mark here saying that that delivery was successful. So this is what the website looks like right now. Let's go in and make a change. I'll edit the index file. And I can change the title here to, let's say, new title. Now, once I save the file, reload, and there you go. Instantly, I see the change on my website. There are a few options that you can pass to the Git plugin. So I recommend taking a look at Caddy's documentation for the plugin and seeing if there's anything in there that might be interesting to you. Thanks for watching.